Hey, this is Mr. Lewis, and it's Coach Jabari Ronald Tep, and we are the God Pod. Yes, yes. yes, yes. Welcome to the God Pod, y'all. You know I mean? So yeah, we just talk about day-to-day -day struggle, everything we go through, and what we see is necessary for us and our culture to start adapting to and changing to. Right. So I got some questions for Mr. Lewis, and we're just gonna wrap. You feel me? So what? Do you think is the first thing that got you into being self-sufficient? Changing my diet really got me into wanting to be self-sufficient because I started realizing like I could grow the food that I want to eat, you know what I mean? Like, and that really got my mind going, you know. Um, and then on top of just already having the idea to want to build, yeah. and I was like, okay, so I can grow food, I can build these garden boxes, and then that just kept developing, you know what I mean, to me want to do tiny homes and uh, and even with the food, you know, I'm like, okay, how can we get our own water, you know what I mean, how can we get fresh water, how can we do as much as we can on our own, you know what I mean? I'm sure. Yeah, yeah no, I definitely got to get with you on the garden. Uh, we definitely going to do that soon, too, because uh, that's all the stuff they go into the food and all the farmland they buying up, all that stuff, right, we got right. to start buying our own, I mean, build, making our own growing our own food and then building our own stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm definitely on that too. My journey of self-sufficiency started with food as well. So changing the nutrition to more vegan, plant-based, mm -hmm. and uh, just seeing that all the diseases that we get with our people from just the American diet that we have, mm -hmm. pouring as much sugar into the Kool-Aid as you can, right. and <laughs> judging each other based on yeah. <laughs> Drinking that, that tap water, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Like we yeah. was going crazy with the tap water, like, we didn't, we didn't have no filter, you know what I mean, on that, like, should just turn it on, start, start uh, mixing it. <laughs> like, uh, so, yeah, but, um, and then, what do you think, like, what would be your life path that you would lay out for somebody, this is the top five things you should do type thing, like, all right, first you should do this, this is, you should, you should do that. Um, and to, to get in towards a more self-sufficient lifestyle? Yeah, self-sufficient lifestyle or just higher self in general. Dang, okay, so first I would um, definitely start with always cleaning up the mind, you know what I mean? Really? You just gotta see why it's important and know why it's important and kind of see what's wrong with the things that we've been doing, you know? Sure. So it's kind of like, Opening up your mind to that part of it and understanding that, and then uh, then going to the diet because I definitely think that diet plays a big part in our uh, self confidence. You I'm know sure. what I mean? Because like it's like working out. You know, when you when you working out a lot and you start looking at your body, you start feeling good about yourself. You're like, man, I feel I look good. You know, so that thinking it, it makes your life better. You know what I mean? Feeling better about yourself is is it's key to higher living, you know right. what I mean? So I feel like with the food, it's the same thing. Once you start switching up your diet and you know you're eating healthy, right. you, like, you start feeling better about yourself. You start thinking better about yourself. So I would definitely start there. You know, like I said, start with the mind. Start uh, cleaning up your diet, you know what I mean? Taking out the sugars and the candies, you know, just the stuff that we think isn't really harmful. And it's like, oh, it's just candy, you know what I mean? Right. Like, you know? Uh, the chips and just the junk food. I would say take out all the junk food for it first. You know what I mean? Sodas, candy, all that artificial stuff because it's no, it's not doing any good for your body at all. Think about what we're saying. Junk food and we're just accepting it. Exactly. Junk. You're just right. calling it trash and then you right. still consume it. Let me get some sweets or, you know, yeah. let me get some uh, junk food, candy. So we're really polluting our bodies with that. And then, right. so what would you say for the mind? Because I know for me, it's social media, getting on social media, because that's like candy for the mind. That's like right. junk food right. for the mind. Yeah. So what would you say for somebody who's trying to get their mind right? What would, what would you say they should cut out? Like you said, social media. I mean, that's kind of the biggest thing. I, and it, I know people are not going to be able to just cut out social media yeah. because it's like a lot of our social uh Socialism is coming from right. social media, right. so it's just like limiting uh, the social media uh, and changing around kind of what you're looking at. You right. know what I mean? Start right. start watching things that are more productive for your mind, more right. learning, more right. skillful. You know, right. more funny, more uh, you know, just stuff that's just not drama based. You right. know what I mean? Right. Just a whole bunch of drama, a whole bunch of negativity. So. Right. 
for real. Um, I would definitely say that for the mind, you know, and then, you know, start reading, start adding some reading into your life as far as like something that you feel like you need to work on. Because for me, before I even switched to the plant-based life and even uh, the African spirituality, like I did a lot of reading on uh, money, like, you know, right. secrets to the millionaire minds, rich dad, poor dad, thinking world rich. Did you, did you get a chance to read Psychology of Money? I haven't. Uh, I actually listened to that on YouTube, and uh, what was uh, my wife took a good nugget from there, and she always repeats it. It's like, I don't need money, money needs me, because yeah. money is an inanimate object, so it's like, it needs us to even be worth something. Exactly. And, and, uh, that's a whole other topic, so we don't have to get into it. That's, 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 that's <laughs> real, because it's, it's crazy, because I was just... Yesterday at the KRS one event, you know, yeah. he was talking about the same thing. He was just like, you know, the best thing you could do is, you know, become high value. You That's know what it. I mean? Like, like master your craft yeah. because your craft will bring you the money. You Absolutely. know what I mean? We running around here chasing money, right. and and that's the problem. You know what I mean? We trying to get money instead of yeah. having our craft. Yeah. Instead of uh, having. Like you said, being valuable, right. and then you can go anywhere and make money. You Absolutely, know I mean? yeah. you know, it, it's it's not even a really a thoughtful thing how we be doing now. It's like you start stretching yourself out over it. You know, I gotta get a job. I gotta right. work. You know I mean, I gotta I gotta go to work, and For you know, I I can't pay my bills. Like that thinking just goes away when you become more self uh, self sufficient and, and, and valuable. Right, right, right. So, but yeah, so no, I appreciate you sharing your nuggets and. It's really talent. It's really dope that you're able to share those nuggets in your music too. So let them know where to find your music too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Make sure y'all check me out on Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube, all that good stuff. Anything and anywhere you listen to music, you can definitely find my music there. Mr. Lewis M apostrophe S T E R L E W I S. And make sure you go to the website as well, rebuildingculture.com. Stay connected with us. We, we rebuilding, like I said, we building up the community and everybody else. I should. How can we find you? Oh, yeah, man. You can find me on Instagram, Coach Rival Tech. Me working in Mastery on YouTube. Uh, just type in Me Work M3 W O R K on YouTube. And that's teaching self sufficiency, inner mastery. I wanted to say self discipline. That's what it is self discipline and uh, fitness tips and stuff like that. Just to be more at one with the workouts and not feel like you got to go to the gym all the time and beat yourself up if you don't make it to the gym. Right. So, yeah, tap in. And it's the God Pod, so we're going to have a lot more nuggets. Tap in. Peace. Peace, Peace to the tribe. Peace.